The, the main things that need to be attended to, there's the outside of the property, which I've just touched on in a previous little video, but the internal side of things. Um, when we live in our houses, we generally sort of are happy with what we have around us. But when we're selling it, we have to create a lifestyle image for people so that they can have a vision that they could live there. Um, so it has to be depersonalized somewhat. Um, so the things to think about are decluttering or generally moving stuff. That's the majority of the issues that I find. So whether there's stuff in your house that is personal to you or not, you have to detach yourself emotionally from that because you're now selling the house and to get the best result from selling the house you need to be emotionally detached somewhat. Now that isn't easy, I get that, but if you can get in that space you're more likely to have a house that is um, decluttered uh, and is offering something that someone else can imagine themselves living in so it's not too personal to you. Um, so little pointers as you go as you come in the front door, the first thing that people look at is as they walk up the driveway, is everything tidy? Is it all swept and clean? Are the windows clean? Is the door clean? Um, silly little things like that. Wiping handles down externally and internally, not because of COVID, but generally just general stuff. And, and you'd be surprised, you know, the doorbell where you keep touching it is, is not as clean as you might think. Um, inside the house, Obviously cleaning all the floors, the skirting boards, dusting, goes without saying. But I will say it because obviously then there's no um, doubt. Um, in cloak rooms, we all have little bins and things like that and toilet rolls obviously. But as for stuff around the sink, toothbrushes and stuff like that, remove them. Just get it right down to the basics. You can have some posh perfumes and soaps which are lovely, fine. Um, same with the bathrooms generally. Clean them down, descale all the glass work and the shower screens, um, polish up the chrome, um, and make sure there's nothing there that is uh, inobtrusive to your eye. So again, the odd soap that's very smart, the few bottles organized, but not all the stuff that you normally have hanging around in your bathroom. And if there's loads of floor coverings, if there's a lovely tiled floor, let's see it, don't cover it up. Um, again, with flooring, wooden flooring, if there's rugs that are covering it, fine. But you know, if there's a nice floor, show it off. Um, kitchens, the work surfaces need to be really clear. Um, so many of us have got so many appliances on the work surfaces. Get rid of stuff. Even if you've got a microwave sat on the kitchen top, please get rid of it for the photographs. Put it somewhere out of the way. Because otherwise people think, oh, there's no work surface space for me to work on, okay? so. Those sort of things are naturally something that you might think of. Flowers on the dining room table, maybe lay the table with the cutlery as if you're having a, a dinner party. Um, and then in the lounge, um, anything like magazines and stuff that are generally hanging around, get rid of them. Keep it minimal. If you've got a throw on the sofa, make sure the cushions are all nicely organised. If there's a log burner and logs, stack the logs neatly. Um, and then sort of moving on to bedrooms, make the beds as if, you know, somebody special's coming. So get your best bed linen out, make the make it, press it, iron it, um, and some cushions and make it look really neat. There's nothing worse in a photograph where one side of the bed is uneven or it's all as if someone's jumped on it. Um, Today, people's expectations are quite high, so um, it's important that we try to get close to those if we can. Um, bedside cabinets, get rid of all the rubbish that's usually there. I know I've got loads of stuff on the side of my bedroom cabinet, which doesn't need to be there for that. Um, and apart from that, make sure your wardrobes are tidy. Uh, people will look in the wardrobes. Um, and as I say, that goes back to our first video, which is like decluttering and getting rid of stuff you don't need. If you show that you're all organized, people can almost buy into the concept that that will be how they could live too. So again, it's all about selling a lifestyle concept. Um, and then I think that more or less covers it for inside, really. Um, so those things might help you. 
So thanks for watching again. I'll do some more short videos coming up, um, just tips and guidance. But thanks for watching today. Cheers. Bye-bye.